Today on the channel, we unbox Edge, Randy Orton, Jax, Ruthless Aggression, Kmart exclusive, Box 2-Pack. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, back with another Jax Ruthless Aggression unboxing video. And today, like I said, the Kmart exclusive Edge Randy Orton box set 2-pack. So, you guys know my love for the Ruthless Aggression line. And one retailer that seemed to really love the Ruthless Aggression line, and Jax in general, was Kmart. Kmart, a thing of the past, sadly, uh, around most of my life. There was always three or four of them local to me. Uh, you know, before the rise of Walmart, Kmart was the place to be. Uh, you ask people, you know, my parents' age, Kmart changed the world, but uh, didn't change with the times and went the way of the dinosaur, unfortunately. But I still miss Kmart up till a year ago, maybe or probably less than, less than that. There was one still in my state uh, out in the middle of nowhere, and I'd pop in there just for old time's sake every once in a while. But going back to the old days of Kmart, the old Jack's days of uh, the mid-2000s, uh, and before, I mean, all the way back to the BCAs, the R3s, uh, all that kind of stuff, they always had plenty of jack stock on hand, and they always had exclusives of different kind. That brings us to this two-pack exclusive. Uh, as you know, the two-packs usually were the adrenaline blister pack with the peg holder up on the pegs. These were box set exclusives. Um, this being the Edge Randy Orton one, there was also uh, one I fondly remember that's uh, worth a pretty penny and probably the most... Uh, worthwhile one to get would be the John Cena RVD 2-pack. A very cool 2-pack. Uh, the thing that's so special about that one really is the RVD briefcase with the RVD kind of spray painted on it. Uh, that briefcase alone goes for a pretty price. But I always liked this 2-pack. Uh, I don't really remember this. I guarantee it was a time, you know, uh, the mid-2000s, late 90s was a time in the WWE where it seemed like there was a lot of special guest referees I'm sure Edge refereed, and this is part of a Randy Orton thing, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. But they had all kinds of times where people would be referees that would be special referees. Where you'd see that really, uh, not a ton back in the 80s and the 70s, but it grew uh, in popularity, I guess, during this time frame. So that's what this one kind of represents, I guess you would say. Um, a very cool pack. I like the box. Uh, I probably prefer the peg, uh, just because you can hang that on the wall. This you really can't hang on the wall. But it's something different. It's something to set itself apart. And, uh, you know, like I said, Kmart exclusive. But let's take a look at the front there. You can see Randy Orton. You know, we've had a million Randy Ortons uh, that look just like this. I'm sure there's a little bit of a difference. But the edge is the one that really sticks out, like I said, with the referee shirt. Uh, we got some accessories back there, and we'll have to get into that. But uh, we also got a nice hat beanie for um, Edge in there. So you see the package, you see their pictures down at the bottom, their name. You got the cool green kind of design. Wraps around all the way to the sides. Uh, there you go, Randy Orton and Edge. Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the top. Same thing on the bottom. Then you got, of course, the back. And like we always say, Jax did a great job of promoting their other lines and other things that were available out there. Um, you can see right here that uh, Deluxe Aggression Series 7 being promoted. Carlito, Rey Mysterio, Sabu, Chris Benoit, Jeff Hardy, Mr. Kennedy. Ruthless Aggression Series 26, uh, Candice Michelle, John Cena, Chris Benoit, William Regal, Hardcore Holly, Finley, and promoting the Jax Classic Superstars official, sta official scale ring down here. So very cool. As much as I like this, though, we got to unbox it. We got to take it out. We got to open this bad boy up. Got my old trusty razor blade. Simple. Well, let's see what we got here. Kind of a concrete type background in here. I don't know. Nothing too special there. Just a, see you later. Um, and nothing else real great. See you later. Ooh, the card's got a little bit of a yellowing to it. Interesting. And there it is right there. So let's pop off. Uh, yeah, let's pop them all out. We'll go from there, huh? Whoa. We got accessories. We'll get to that. Pop this stuff out. Jeez. Nice and tight in there. We appreciate that. What do we got here with this beanie? You gotta like cut it out? That's interesting. Hmm. Strange. See you later. 
wrong way, hitting the detolfs, it'll do. So it's kind of a beanie, kind of like a hat. We saw this a little bit with John Cena in that classic Superstars 3 pack. I don't know. <laughs> this will look terrible on him. We'll get to that, though. But let's look at the figure first. Edge. Uh, we've seen this Edge head scan. We've seen this body mold. Uh, not a lot of difference here. It's basically taking a referee shirt and putting it on there. He does got a little of the Jack Sticky disease on the hair. But it looks, uh, you know, it's his wet hair. I think that always looks pretty good. It's off to the side. Nothing inherently wrong with this figure at all. Um, one note, if you know buying this one loose, I guarantee it's pretty hard to find mint as it seems like the stripes on these referee figures wear off uh, terribly. Um, so you see a lot of beat up referee figures um, from time to time. And then look at this Orton. Like we said, this Orton is not a whole lot different than what we've had in the past. We've had pure plain black uh, tights like this. We've had uh, the green decorations, the orange decoration. There's just so many variables on this. This is definitely the weak link of the pack. It's, you know, as a kid, how many Randy Ortons like this do you need? They look identical except for just a little bit of a difference. Uh, let's see if we can get this hat on Randy or on Edge. I think it looks just so dumb. Yeah, the soft goods hat just does not work. <laughs> this is, this looks horrible. Just absolutely horrible. Look at that. Just brutal. Like, why? Why even bother at that point? Um, I know he wore stocking hats and stuff, but mold it onto him. At this point, this cloth thing just does not work for, uh, I don't think, anybody. Um, we've got a couple of accessories here. Oh, see you later. You know, Jax, I give them props. This accessory, uh, obviously the table that breaks. Uh, I love it. I mean, how many of you as a kid, uh, me as a kid, wanting a table to break, you know, having to be creative, invent our own thing. It was a game changer when we first started getting breakaway tables and chairs and stuff like that. Just absolutely loved it. So uh, this fits in, you know, it, tables break all the time. They broke through tables. No fun story with that one. However, this stretcher is a whole nother story. The old gray stretcher, usually we see it in brown, but there's a funny story about this gray stretcher. You know, Randy Orton uh, had a lot of heat, I guess you would say, when he first came into the WWE back in the day. You know, he was a third generation wrestler, you know, came in with a lot of pop and circumstance, ended up getting injured fairly early in his career. People didn't know if he was tough. You know, he had some military issues um, before, so that kind of preceded him when he came in. So the guys were pretty rough to him. And, you know, back in the day, before he had a bus that he traveled in and stuff like that, uh, you know, they stayed in the hotels and stuff, and the boys would bunk up and, and things like that. And, uh, you know, just like they do, save some money, save some dollars. Well, poor Randy, for the first two years of his career, this is what he slept in on the road. They would not allow him, uh, you know, I think it was the Undertaker that put the, put the hammer down and said, you're not staying in the hotels, you got to earn your stripes. And uh, they found this old stretcher. And I think, if my memory serves me right, somebody could check this. I think this was found backstage at Vets uh, Auditorium in Des Moines, Iowa, where I'm at. Which brings this story all back home together. The old school Vets Auditorium. They found this old stretcher. Undertaker got it. I think he had some of the guys go pick it up for him and said, Randy, this is your new sleeping arrangements going forward. And he had to sleep. He slept outside of Best Westerns, Holiday Inns, Hampton Inns out in the parking lot on this stretcher. Uh, you know, a lot of times he'd hide himself in between the bushes and stuff so, you know, the dogs wouldn't bother him and, and the bums and the crazies out at night. But first two years of his career, he gained a lot of respect by sleeping in this thing uh, out front of the old hotel rooms. And, and the rest is history. He finally ended up getting his own bus and the world took over. But a lot of people didn't think old Randy Orton would make it and would be a superstar uh, that he is today. So a little history with some of these accessories. It's always good to give those out because I don't know if anybody else has given those out. And Somebody can fact check that story. I might have got the venue that they got this at wrong. I I'm not sure, but somebody fact checked that one. But there you go. A pretty nice, easy two-pack. Uh, things that have kind of went away with age. Uh, these kind of head-scratcher two-packs that would show up out of blue. Uh, retailer like a KB exclusive, Kmart exclusive in this case. Those just kind of faded away and just aren't a thing anymore, which is sad. I wish we'd have more... Uh, exclusives like this that aren't just a single set of single guys something different a two-pack or, or something um, so there you have it that's uh, the review of this old Randy Orton and Edge two-pack hopefully you guys enjoyed like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and leave me a comment on your thoughts on Kmart in general all the great scores we had at Kmart over the years it's just a thing of the past like we said so 
There you have it for Edge, Randy Orton, the table, and this magical stretcher. I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.